In sugarcane crop, where nitrogen plays a key role in increasing the productivity, farmers are spending about 16.75% of total cost of cultivation on manures and fertilizers. The use of fertilizers has revolutionized crop production system. But the possible contribution of nutrients from fertilizer application to underground and surface water is now a major concern among soil and environmental scientists. Such information needs to be generated for crops receiving heavy rates of N fertilizers, organic manures, and water. In sugarcane crop, where higher levels of N are applied, much of the N is lost through leaching and surface runoff. Leaching loss of applied nitrate below the root zone, thereby contributing to underground and surface waters. The coarse textured soil possesses high potential of nitrate from agricultural land constitutes a source of potential degradation of underground water, especially in lowland areas. The increasing importance of underground water sources in many tropical countries suggest closer attention to nitrogen fertilization practices. This in turn evolves a more efficient management of nitrogen use, properly synchronized to the need of the crop. Among the various fertilizers, urea is the cheapest and most commonly applied to sugarcane. In recent years, the cost of urea has increased considerably. There is an urgent need to develop new technology by which some supplemental source of N can be identified. Over a hectare of land, about 80,000 tons of N is available. The richness of N in the atmosphere is of no significance unless it is converted in the form of ammonia or nitrate and fixed them in the soil. Under normal environmental conditions, nitrogen fixation by microbes proceeds effortlessly. Nutrient toxicity levels in soils and plants need to be established for Indian conditions.